and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh eclipse that is scheduled to happen after midnight on April 15th will reportedly be the first of four so-called blood moon eclipses that are expected to occur over the next two years. When Earth aligns with the Sun and casts a shadow on the moon, it creates the effect known as a lunar eclipse, where the moon gets darker as the shadow passes. As this happens, the color of the moon changes to a dark rusty red, so it is sometimes referred to as a blood moon. Groups of Christians believe that the series of blood moon eclipses could be a sign of the end times. Experts have marked their calendars for the three other eclipses happening on October 8th of this year and then April 8th and September 28th of 2015. A rare show for sky watchers later tonight as the sun, Mars and the Earth will be in a nearly straight line. NASA says the red planet will be almost 10 times brighter than anything else you will see in the sky. Uh, Tariq Malik's managing editor of Space.com, who's looking up every day. How are you, Tariq? Bill, always N pleasure. Nice to see you back here. What's the significance for a space nut like you about this particular event? Well, everyone loves Mars. It's this bright red kind of shine, uh, shining light in the sky. Uh, now, at opposition is what scientists call it, Mars is directly lined up with the Earth and the Sun uh, in, a, in a straight line. It only happens every 26 months, so it's relatively rare, uh, and this is a really great time to look for Mars if you're Skies are clear. Uh, if you had a mission to Mars, which we don't at the moment, this is where you time it. Yeah, this, Why? this, this alignment, uh, because of the orbits of Earth and Mars, they're in proper positions every every two years to launch a mission. So back in September, knowing that this was coming up, uh, NASA did launch, uh, actually India launched uh, a spacecraft toward Mars, uh, and then a couple months later NASA did the same. Uh, those are en route now to take advantage of this lineup. They'll both arrive in September uh, because of that, those, those orbital mechanics. So Mars has got a longer way to go, and we actually fly out and back to Mars. Yes, you go kind of Into around. You, fl you fly to where Mars will be, not where they are. The so, and you're saying at eight o'clock in the night, you can look in the the eastern sky yes. and see Mars. Now, can you do that? Yeah, you can do it now. It'll be relatively low on the horizon at eight o'clock at night. Uh, it's in the constellation Virgo. It's bright reddish orange. It's not pure red. Uh, and then it'll rise up higher in the sky as the night wears on. And this is a, really a preview because uh, a week from tonight, uh, from Mm -hmm. uh, Monday, so on April 14th, Mars will actually be closer than it is tonight, and uh, and it, it'll be it's even gonna, brighter. It's going to get better. Yeah. Uh, do you find the significance in events like these um, to be exciting? I mean, is this something you look forward to, or is there something else out there that, oh, you know what, this happens every 26 months and it's okay? Well, you know, it only gets better. So so last, uh, a couple of years ago in, in uh in 2012, we had this ha happen. It wasn't as, as nice. Now Mars is even closer than it was two years ago, okay. so that's great. In uh, in the, the next two years, it's going to keep getting closer and closer, and uh, and we're just really excited to, uh, to get uh, even. Nothing funky's going on though, right? No, it's just uh, it's just, just the way the universe works. Cool. Thanks, Tariq Malik from Space.com. Nice to have you back. Always a pleasure. All right, Martha, what's next?